this is your brain on a normal amount of stress. And this is your brain on a coronavirus amount of stress. This is our world all of a sudden. We're filming this video together, but from our quarantines across the city. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. If you, like me, are dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety related to the coronavirus right now, then this video is for you. In it, we're speaking with a therapist who explains why our stress levels are so out of control right now, and then she shares five powerful tools to get that stress under control. What's scaring me the most right now is how unpredictable and unknown everything is. I have one thought that leads to another and another and another, and I start to snowball. How long is this gonna go on? Will I have enough money to make it to the end? What if I get sick? What if I get sick and I don't know it and pass it on to someone else and then someone dies because of me? Do I have blood on my hands? What happens if my parents get sick? What happens if my parents get sick and I can't go to see them? What happens if this is what the world is like every year from now on and it just keeps coming back over and over and over and we're quarantined forever? I know this isn't a healthy way to think, but sometimes I can't help myself from thinking this way. I'd love to say you're overreacting, but you're not. These fears are real and we're all feeling it. New York City is a different place right now. The city is empty, the subway is empty, the streets are empty. It's eerie. People are holed up in their apartments, quarantining themselves, anxious and having no idea what to do to stay sane. That's why we called up Whitney Goodman, a licensed therapist who can explain why we're all feeling so unsettled right now and share some practical tools that we can use to manage this coronavirus related stress. Hey Whitney. Hey. <laughs> hey Whitney, how are you? Hi, I'm good. So we are dealing with coronavirus right now. We're kind of quarantined in our apartments. We still have some movement, but you know, we've never dealt with anything like this before. I don't think anyone you know, has really dealt with anything like this before. So it's a unique time. Yeah, I think it's a super unique time. I mean, I know I've never dealt with anything like this and I've, I'm noticing that that's the biggest issue right now is people just aren't really sure what to do, how to act, how to feel. We're all navigating this at the same time. Obviously, you, you've never dealt with something like the coronavirus before, but you deal with people who are experiencing stress and anxiety all the time. So we have stressors and we have stress. We can look at the, the coronavirus, what's happening right now is a stressor. Whenever we interact with a stressor, we go into a generic neurobiological, physiological response that happens. And this is built in to keep us safe. Reaction is happening in the body. So this is when you're gonna to start to feel like heart racing, stomach aches, sweaty palms, trouble focusing, all of these different types of symptoms. I have felt all those things. <laughs> this is not normal for me. Everyone is just acting differently because there's this new stress. Yeah, I think that's when we can look at some of these behaviors of like people running out and buying all like the toilet paper in the store. Or I saw pictures of people buying like 30 gallons of milk. That to me, when I see that, I'm like, oh, that's a stress response. So we have to think about how can I bring my nervous system back to baseline? How can I make it feel safe again? So what we wanted to ask you is what challenge do you have for us that we can test out in our daily lives in order to manage this anxiety that we're experiencing due to coronavirus? So my challenge is for really everybody to just get back to the basics. What I would suggest is whenever you're feeling these high levels of anxiety or discomfort, thinking about, can I engage in any movement? How is my routine? Um, can I engage with community in some way? Of course not in person. Um, how am I taking care of my physical health? And then do I need to set limits around my news and media viewing? I'm really excited because I need this right now. You know, I need this and, and a lot of people need this. All right, let's do this. Challenge accepted. I think that I'm going insane. I have not like seen a physical person in like at least a day. I haven't changed my clothes in two days and nobody knows. This sucks. Just feeling like crap. Feeling a bit anxious. It's like there's no ground beneath me. I'm also feeling a bit like numb. I'm, I'm kind of in freak out mode again. And the stress is kind of seeping in to my sleep. Stressors create stress. 
Over the years, we've each developed our own coping mechanisms for managing normal stress. But right now, there's so much stress that our normal coping mechanisms are overwhelmed. The reason Whitney is suggesting five different tools is because in this new situation, we need new tools to bring us back to baseline. Alexa, set an alarm for 7.15 a.m. Alarm set for 7.15 a.m. tomorrow. Breakfast. I'm gonna change clothes today, cause that's normal. <laughs> I'm actually playing poker with my friends right now. Lunchtime. Woke up, fighting the stress immediately by doing yoga with my girlfriend and all my family on a video call. I'm actually feeling fantastic. Hey guys, how did it go this week? You know, it's a. Uh, I'm feeling. I'm definitely feeling better. I think what I've I've realized is this is kind of an ongoing process. It, there's nothing that's gonna just like make this go away because it is so real. But it does feel like, okay, there was this crazy spike in, oh my God, what's happening? And we're now kind of in figuring out what are these things that we can do to make this lifestyle work for us. It sounds like you guys did a great job um, in implementing some of these behaviors. Just remember that self-care is an ongoing practice and you should keep doing these things regularly. Okay. Cool. We will. I will. It's either that or go insane. So <laughs> we're all stuck in different places all over the world, but we're all in this together. This week's challenge from Whitney was a reminder that we have a lot of different tools in our toolkit and we need to figure out which situations call for which tools. In the end, I do still have stress related to the coronavirus and I don't think that's gonna go away completely until it does, but I finally feel like I'm able to manage that stress and I've got it a lot more under control. So give these a test, let us know how it goes and also share with us what you're doing to manage your stress in these challenging times. We'd love to hear it. Drop it in the comments below. Stay safe out there. We, we love, love you. you. Rally, Rally on. on. Rally on.